Hi, this is Mike, and today I want to show you uh, how I like to set up my Blackboard Grade Center at the beginning of the semester. This might help you if you're getting started with Grade Center or just not sure about what the best configuration is. So I'm here in a Blackboard site that I just created, and um, as you can see, I've got Grade Center open. To get to the full Grade Center, for those of you who haven't explored it before, if you scroll down on your menu, you'll see under Course Management, you'll see the Grade Center. And if that button is toggled closed, you can just click on Grade Center. And then it'll open up. And you'll see Needs Grading, Full Grade Center, and then there's Assignments and Tests. And we're not going to bother with anything else. We're just going to go right to the Full Grade Center. So if you click on Full Grade Center, if you've got students in your course, they will be listed. And if you don't have students in your course, then you just won't see anybody, but you can still work it exactly the same way. Step one, hide unwanted columns. There are some default columns here in the Grade Center that you don't really need necessarily or want to look at. Um, so the first thing that I like to do, first of all, is I like to hide the side menu when I'm working with Grade Center. It's just a lot of real estate here on the left hand side that we don't need to take up because I want as much room for columns in the Grade Center as I can stand. So I'm just going to minimize that. Um, menu. I'll click on the arrow there and I'll show you again to get the arrow back to get the menu back you click on the show course menu arrow and then to hide it you hide course menu and so now I've got the whole grade center here that I'm looking at and if you notice I've got last name first name username student ID last access availability uh, weighted total and total I don't need any of this stuff really so what, what do I really need I need to see the students last name and first name probably. Some of you may want to see the username or student ID. But I'm going to start hiding things. Um, so if you notice, if I click on the chevron next to each column, I have the opportunity to hide from instructor view. And I'm just going to go ahead and hide this from instructor view. And now that one's hidden. And I'm going to move the page up so we can see it a little bit better. OK, so that one's hidden. And I'm going to hide student ID. No reason for me to see that. And I'm going to hide last access also, because I don't really need to see that. And availability, I'm going to hide as well. I don't even know what that means, but I don't need to see it. So I'm going to hide that from instructor view. So now I've got um, a kind of a nice column situation where I've got a lot of room. I can see everything, and I can start adding columns if I need to. Step two, change external grade column. So the one thing that I'll show you here is total. And total. Um, has this external grade designation. It's a check mark next to total. And total is um, the total that is created for you in Blackboard. The default column is just a running total of all the points that you uh, give students in your course. So if you had five quizzes and they were each worth 25 points, then you know your total would be 125. And if you had a final exam worth 100 points, it would be 225. It's kind of a nonsensical number. So I like to get rid of that. But the problem is um, it has this check mark here. And I can't get rid of anything that is the external grade. If you notice, if I pull down on the chevron, I can hide it from myself. But you notice I can't hide it from the student. The student will always see the external grade, and they'll see this weird total column. So I don't want them to see that. What I'd like them to see is a dummy column that I create. So I'm going to create a column. And I clicked on Create Column there on the left. Um, but you can call it Dummy Column. Um, and now I can give it a Grade Center name, and I'll call this BB grade center. And you can call it whatever you'd like. You can call it final grade. You can call it whatever you like. And we don't have to give it a category, but we do have to give it a points possible. And I'll just give it one point possible. Don't worry about that. The students won't see it. And that's it. I'll click Submit. OK, and now if you notice, I've got this BB grade center column. And it's a dummy column. But now, if I click on More Options, I can set as external grade. So I'm moving the external grade away from the total to the BB grade center. And now I can delete that total. And I'm just going to click on that and delete the whole column. 
And now this is the way I really like to have Grade Center set up from the beginning. Now you can create your own columns, you can create your own assignments, which will create columns in here, but here's a nice clean way of seeing your Grade Center. Step three, unhiding and rearranging columns. If you ever need to see any of the columns that you've hidden, you can do that very easily. You go to Manage up here on top and Column Organization. And this gives you a list of all of the columns that you've hidden and you can unhide them anytime you want. So to unhide a column, it's very easy. Let's say I need to see the student's username. I click on the checkbox and I can show selected columns. And now you'll notice that one is in um, black. It's not grayed out. Um, you can also shift around where you see things in a column. So if you want that BB gate Grade Center external grade to be the first column that you see, uh, you can just grab that, drag it above weighted total, click on Submit, and now you'll notice I can see the student's username. BB Grade Center is the first column, gr first graded column, and weighted total is the second graded, uh, the second um, column listed. And there you have it. That's how you, I like to set up my Grade Center for the beginning of the semester. If you have any questions about setting up Grade Center for your particular course, um, give us a holler and we'd be happy to help you.